All right. But if you know an answer, if you guys want to take a mask break, you can. But if you're going to shout out an answer for me and participate, put that mask up, okay? All right. So we're going to find different parts of 11, 12, and 13. Okay? All right. I think I should have the volume up enough. Oh, perfect. Here we go. The Dolphins swim team won 13 trophies. How could they split the trophies into two groups to put into two trophy cases? How many trophies are there in all? How many are in all? There are 13 trophies. How many trophies will fit in the red case? Very good. Okay, so we know 10 would fit in the first one because, again, it, it looks like a what? A 10 frame. And if it's filled, then we know that there's 10, right? Okay, let's see what they want me to do here. Drag the trophies into the red case to fill it, and then drag the other into the yellow case. So if there's 13, how many are going to go in the red case, everyone? 10. Okay, so let me fill it up. Oh, boy. You know how this goes. i got to be fast.
wait for the train. There are only 10 seats in each train car. How many students will have to ride in a second car? Use counters to show your work. Then, tell how the counters and equation show 10 ones and some more ones. Okay, so this is just like the video, right? We're working on breaking up that number 13. Okay, so how many counters can we put in the first train car? Raise your hand to tell me. Thank you, Ooh, lots of hands today, this is great. Mia V, how many can that? 10, can you fill up that first uh, car for me? Go ahead and fill up that first train car with 10. And we don't even have to count because we know that if it's filled up, we have 10, good. All right, so if we have 13 all together, right? Okay, how many more can we put into that second train car then? All right, Eddie? Three. And let's count up by ones, okay? So can everyone do that with me? So we have 10 already. So let's go ahead. If we have one more, we have 11. Keep going. 12. And one more. 13. Good. You can stop right there. Perfect. All right, so now let's fill in our missing parts to show 13. So 13 equals, what's my first number that's gonna go into this blank, Luke? 10. 10, that was our first train car, hit 10. So let's put the number 10 down. So it has 10 plus, how many do we put in the second train car? Audra? Three. three. So three is gonna be our second part. All right, so can you guys read this with me out loud? Use your pointer finger to read it, go from left to right, here we go. 13 equals 10 plus three. I wish everyone participated and said it with me. Can we do it one more time? Because I don't want to be the one saying it. Here we go. Equals three. Very good. Be careful because they're going backwards, okay? They want to know 13 first. Okay, go ahead and lift and turn to the next page. All right, so you're going to see... Is that? Three. 
Very good. Go ahead, fill it in. Awesome. All right, so Brady, can you read it for us now? Nice and loud. That is awesome. Who else got that at their seat? You did just like that. Perfect. Thank you, Brady. I'll take that. Awesome. Head back to your seat and can you fill that in for me? Wonderful. Okay. All right, let's see. Luke, you want to come to the next one? Yeah. Okay, what are we making here? What number? 12. 12. We're finding parts for 12. So you guys can go ahead and fill, fill in your 10 frames. Fill in those missing parts for me for 12. Go ahead. Yep, good job. Perfect. When you're done, pencil down so I can see that you're ready.
equals, and then tell me your two parts. 11 equals what plus what? Can you fill that in first? And then just stop. 11 equals what? Your first 10 frame plus your second. How many are in the second? Okay, write those in. Good. Great. Let's fill this in. 11 equals what plus what? What plus what? You're missing some. I need 11 all together, right? How many go in the second 10 frame? Good. All right. Good. All right, so now down here at the bottom, Anthony, I told you not to do this one yet. 11 goes in the top. 11 equals what plus what? Plus. But now we're going to kind of, we're going to flip it and make it like a regular equation, right? This time I want you to write your two parts. First 10 frame plus how many are in the second 10 frame equals 11. See that? They just kind of reversed it. So see if you guys can fill that in for me. So this time it's your first 10 frame. So what plus what equals 11 this time? They just kind of flipped it. Okay, 10 plus 1 equals 11. All right, pencils down when you're done so I can see if you're finished. What's your first 10 frame? 10. So 10 goes for So 10 plus, there it is. Good, Audrey, you got it? Yeah. All right, can I keep it flipped over here so I can see? All right, good, you got your counters filled in, plus, here, just be careful right here. You do your first 10 frame, the top one, then plus the bottom. So what has to go first here? No, no, no. What goes first when you're writing here? The 11 stays here, the 10. Yeah, you have to look at the 10 is the one. Okay, yeah, that's an easy fix, right? Okay, I think we all have it. Great, okay, pencils down. Okay, so I've got a couple of things we had to fix. Make sure you're careful, kindergarten, eyes up here real fast. When you're doing this bottom one, remember it's the first 10 frame that we filled up, plus What's in the second? Okay? So we want the larger number, that 10, to go first. Got it? Some of us kind of wrote the 1 first and then the 10, and that's okay because then I know flipping things gets a little confusing. Okay? So always the top plus the bottom. Good? Okay. All right. We're just going to end with taking another look at the video here. Remember, if they ask a question, go ahead and shout the answers out loud. If you don't, if you want to, you can take a mask break. If you don't want to shout out anything, just sit and listen. And Take a quick mask break and watch. Maybe that's a better choice, huh? Just sit and watch, okay? Take a little mask break. It's very short. It's only like a minute long. No, no, not 10 minutes. Definitely. Hi! We're working with fruit today. We'll use oranges, pears, and these red apples to find parts of three different numbers. First, we'll find parts of 11. This double 10 frame will help us find the parts. We'll start filling the top 10 frame first. The top 10 frame is full. It shows 10. That leaves one apple for the bottom 10 frame. We found parts of 11. 11 equals 10 plus 1. Next, we have oranges, 12 of them to be exact. Let's put them in the double 10 frame. There are 10 oranges and two more. The parts of 12 are 10 and 2. So 12 equals 10 plus 2. Now we'll use the pairs. 13 pairs. The parts of 13 are 10 and 3. 13 equals 10 plus three. Mmm, all that fruit made me hungry. I'm going to go eat a banana. See you later.